Many primates in many different environments have been observed to engage in complex forms of communication. Chimpanzees use not only verbal communication, but also gestural communication, where a chimpanzee might indicate to a fellow chimpanzee where exactly it wants to be groomed, and that corresponding chimpanzee will be able to tell what that gestural communication stands for. Part of being social for primates means that primates are excellent communicators. Primates in different environments have been observed to communicate in a lot of different ways. For example, vervet monkeys in southern Africa use distinctive kinds of calls when distinctive kinds of predators are approaching. So for example, if a snake is approaching, vervets use one call, which is recognized by other vervets as indicative of a predator coming at them from below. So they might retreat into a tree. Another kind of distinctive call indicates when a predatory bird is coming, telling them not to get into a tree, but perhaps to get under cover. Chimpanzees, in addition to using kinds of verbal communication, also use gestural communication so that one chimpanzee might indicate to another through a hand gesture where it would like to be groomed, and that corresponding individual will understand the intention of that gesture. In the complex world of primate communication, human communication stands out as being unique. Human communication and human language has the capacity to create an infinite range of meanings, and humans have the ability to interpret the sounds they hear and create meaning out of those sounds in the form of sentence and grammatical structures. So human language is a dynamically important part of the human adaptation. Understanding how human language developed through the fossil and archaeological record is therefore one of our goals in understanding the origin and evolution of humans.